show you all that Uncle Jacob kites are awesome and they do fly. Watch what's going on there, right? You don't see in that? You don't even have to try to set up Uncle Jacob kite. Uncle Jacob kite does fly. Welcome back, welcome back. Today we will be doing kite making, old school, flower water pace you guys. Tune into today's vlog and enjoy. So what I like most about Easter is the farm. So our mission really started about a week ago when we journeyed to Arima. We wanted to get cookie stick for you guys. We didn't want to buy any kite. We wanted to get the real thing for you all. So we visited the market to get a broom. We also picked up some flour because we'll be teaching you how to make kite with flour water piece. So I hope you guys enjoy. Alright y'all, so I'm heading to Arima market to get that cookie broom. Because it's not kite making unless we have all the correct ingredients, right? Not all the time it will be easy to find, so I'm heading to the back now because the person who was assisting me in front told me it's sold out already. So let me go and see if I get any back. Ooh, and there's not much vendors out today. But I'm still going to start in front and ask around to see if I could get. Person, you know, don't have so I am on the hunt in a Rima market looking for cookie broom. You all know if this does not work, we have to climb a tree, right? Hey, kids, <laughs> it's Auntie right, Candice. So we have the cookie flex, this is from straight from the tree. Mm -hmm. We have the young ones, mm -hmm. well, the, the, the not so dry ones, and then the dry ones. So we're going to take all the leaf. This is the coconut leaf, mm -hmm. and this right here, this this time here is what we use to make the cookie broom, and this is what we'll be using to make the kite. So we just peel this off, mm -hmm. and peel this side off. We just need to get a knife to scrape it out clean, but then this is what we'll remain with. Mm -hmm. So we will show you when we are ready do a handful right we we ain't go boil and surely everything but that's how we clean it we're going to get some of the green ones and some of the dry ones okay so kids our broom is being built we don't have enough to make a full broom but we will have enough to make some kite right so auntie candace is scraping it right now and I want you all to know that you all should not be using knives. Get mommy, daddy, auntie, uncle, brother or sister to help you with this process. Or you could just do it with your finger alone. If you want a clean, smooth finish, make sure and ask your parents for assistance, okay? Auntie Candice says it takes about one and a half to two branches to make a full broom. And you all know, we're not making a full broom, we're making kites, right? So, you all seeing it? Nice. We go, let we go. That we talking about. That we talking about all here. Hi, good day, everyone. Today we be making. All right, guys. So when it comes to kite making, you need a few ingredients. You can use kite paper, copybook paper, or gazette paper that's how we used to make kites long ago believe it or not i have my cloth for my tail i also have some thread here that i'm going to use to fly the kite and also make the compass with and for those who thinking that we'll be using glue you're wrong show them what we got there we got flower paste yes you guys we are sticking our kite with flower paste right this is old school kite making into the kite making let me tell you all a story right so as a young boy i actually grew up in santa cruz anybody knows about santa cruz is 
You all must know which part Santa Cruz is. That's where Brian Lara came from. That's where he was born and raised, you guys. And there is where I learned how to make kite. Chicky chong, mat ball, flower kite with paste. All there. But let me tell you about the kite making long time, right? Long time. We used to go in the house when granny sleeping and go in the corner because long time in the corner of the house always had a cookie broom all here you can find a cookie broom anytime it used to be bigger than this only this this is just a baby broom we make long time the broom was big so and you know where we parents had our broom for to cut with tail we used to get licks with it once a week they are sweeping you know? But the rest of the time is what a cookie. Oi. Exactly. Right? It's licks we used to get. But that never used to stop we. Every Easter, we're looking for cookie stick. Most times we just use about four sticks to make we kite. Two for the length, two for the bow. Like you're making a bow and arrow. Yes, all it. That's how we used to make we kite. We get with flower water, we go outside by the back step underneath to make we kite. We go in inside for some razor blade all here. Yes. Why we used to get razor blade? I will tell you all along just now. We will look for an old pillowcase or old piece of cloth and rip it up to make the tail for the kite. All here. Long time kite was different, you know. We would have get them blades and put it on the tail so when your kite going up in the air and it starts to dance like that you have a nice dancing tail with a sharp blade and it was called kite wars back then earlier we send the kite up in the air we flying with kite and we ducking with kite that is when you pull it so and the kite coming down and dancing all here and anybody who flying kite you're going next to them and they dance in the kite because they want your kite to pass right underneath theirs to pull the thread. Whoosh! And when you cut them, what do you think would happen? The kite used to drop to the ground. Them was the days a kite flying long time. I tell you all about the late 90s, early 2000s when we were children and Jamal. Yes, that is how kite was. Now, we only do natural clean fun kite flying no blades no teeth just pure vibes with kite but most people don't remember those days so that is why in the library we always come back to the old time days and teach y'all how to make kite with flour water paste cookie broom we just buy kite but we know how to make a kite in the library remember that it's years now, Uncle Jacob visiting different libraries, teaching you all how to make kites, right? So all you're going to enjoy this video. Let me show you Uncle Jamal now. He fall in the kite paper all here. He fall in the kite paper. All you see in that day, Uncle Jamal making his kite all here. Uncle Jamal making his kite. Time, we didn't use no scissors, you know. You get a piece of thread. And they put it underneath, like where Uncle Jamal doing here. You all see in the thread? Watch it. And you pull it like this. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't come out too straight, you know. But we had the scissors for that. But that is how we used to cut it long time, Holly. That is how we used to cut the thing long time. Normally put it across here to measure the length. And you break off the cookie stick to suit, right? This is what you do to measure. Break it there. Yeah, all well, yeah. Bobby a tread. And you wrap it around the ends, y'all. You wrap it around the ends. And you're letting it spin and go straight down. Straight down, all yeah. Straight down. Let me show Uncle Jamal face. Uncle Jamal is the man, all yeah. You, you, you remember any boy days, ain't? Eh? You remember any boy days, boys and girls, you see? This is what we're talking about there. Eh? I know some of them go on to know, Uncle Jamal, you selling kite? What are you doing there? Say, no, he just teaching the youths and them the old time days, you see? That will be talking about boys and girls, you spin it. Like, come down. 
When I say come down from there, baby, come down. <laughs> come down. I will be talking about. And when you reach the end, you're wrapping it up and getting all your kite making one on one. Easy like? Well, your uncle Jamal enjoying himself, but yeah, uncle Jamal stopping me from doing my thing, you know, because I was the kite man. I feel it as though I've been replaced. But all you know, your boy still has so much knowledge up in here. I am going to show you all something called the Chicky Chong Kite. So a long time, we used to get buff from mommy and daddy as well for ripping out the copybook page. But you hear him? Yeah. So today, mommy and daddy not here. So I'm jumping with joy. You know why I'm jumping with joy? Yeah, boy, I had two pages. Two pages. I'm going to show you all the easiest kite you can make. It's called the Chicky Chong. First, you get one paper. And you're going to fold this paper. So, this page already has borders on it. So, even better, right? You're going to fold it this way. I couldn't finish make my kite before Uncle Jamal. Even ready for the road. I fold it and gain here all day. And then, you see this paper? We used to get our scissors. So, don't laugh at Uncle Jacob now. Uncle Jacob can't cut in a straight line, but that is okay. We get with scissors. And we, we cut like this. And this is the tail we actually making for the Chicky Chong. So, long time. I remember I had a Chicky Chong kite all year. And I send that kite up in the air. I fly and kite in the back of the hockey I could swear my kite land in Piaco. First, my kite went high. All you believe me? Let me hear all in the comment section. Tell me if all you believe me. I send my cheeky chong high up in the air. My cheeky chong. Hmm. I think Uncle Jamal ready to make the, the bow now. So let me flip the camera back to Uncle Jamal to show you how we going and make the bow. So yes. So boys and girls, you normally put your finger over here to this corner. You're bending it like this. And you're marking it off again to see how much you need, right? And that is how you measure. And Uncle Jamal, yeah. that is how we I'm doing it. Do you need help? Yeah, just, yeah. You're good day, Uncle. You're good day. Yeah. So now he's going to do the same thing with the tread and gain. He's going to wrap it around the top for about 10 to 20 rolls. Then come down the stick and then back to the other end. So same process and gain, you guys. Same process and gain. Right, so as I promised, I'm going to finish before Uncle Jamal. So, y'all, here we go. I'm go I basically I made two slits. Let me show y'all. One there and one here. That is actually to put the tail and to put the tread, you guys. These type of kites don't actually need a compass to fly. So after we put it in. We're just going to twist it, y'all. Twist it. Just like this. Two, three, four. And that is it. We have our tail. To the top now. Oh gosh, the kite ready to fly all is the kite almost gone? Yes. So I am going to put the, the thread through here. Ah boy. Ah boy. Yeah. We we made that we shared them cookie set this morning. So that is it. This is what we call Chicky Chong Holly. Chicky Chong Kite. Kite like this bad for days. Let me go outside. Let me go outside. With the little breeze we're blowing Holly. Once we get the breeze, we Chicky Chong flying. Today is not a breezy day, but we will get some breeze. Right? But it's almost there. I hope nobody laughing at Uncle Jacob. Ah, <laughs> look we get any breeze. Look we get any breeze. Fly. No. Up, 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 up. <laughs> yes, it's going, it's going. We, we just need a little more breeze, breeze. boys and girls. Perhaps you need and a savanna. How, how the day is overcast and not much breeze is blowing is why we're not going up as yet. But you all. This guy does go places. Mommy's, daddy's, make this guy for 
for your sons and your daughters because you see how easy it is same way it does look just just as good as the the regular kite right so let me go back inside and check out uncle jamal and when uncle jamal done we will put the kites to the test to see who go up in the air right because uncle jacob chicky chum still bad <laughs> uncle jacob chicky chum still flying let me go inside boys and girls all right guys back to uncle jamal let's see what uncle jamal is doing uncle jamal your kite and ready for the road nah right now i'm finishing the the bow making part of it you know i'll be making the the four patches to, to attach these sides and from there i'll be placing the holes attaching cheek tail and i'm ready for um, for flight where is it uncle jamal flight 101 Flight 101 is about to um, leave the floor. Trouble. Yes, all yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. So, yeah, just make sure I'm making very flexy so I can get the dance in the sky. Right? <laughs> dance, <laughs> get the dance in the sky. Right? helping auntie Jem with her kite right now and this is what i normally do so normally you know the top of the cookie is always stronger than the bottom so when i'm making mine i always switch it this way so you have one strong one week one strong one week when i'm making my bow ah so that's my tip for you all okay boys and girls push back over to uncle jamal kite he is about to lay down the flower you guys so he has this one underneath and this one is over right it could be one must be on top one must be low you can't have the two or else your kite is going to separate and also when you're tying your compass your compass also goes through here or here that way it gives it an extra hole an extra security right yep to make it sturdy so you hit any flower water paste here you guys flower and water actually holds the glue the kite sorry better than glue actually will because y'all y'all know how hard flower is to get off right <laughs> when you're making dumpling whatever you're making it's very hard to get off so y'all seeing how he's putting it down right he is basically following the frame of the kite nice nice he patting it down he patting it down now so we're going to do this for all four corners okay be afraid to get your fingers dirty, dirty. boys and girls if you have to use your hand yeah. do that right do that so i know make a little skate for anti gem kite day right so I cut up the bottom so when Auntie in the air, this going and be flapping all it. This go and send a message. Auntie Jem is going in the air for fight. She ready to cut down whoever kite coming. She way all it. So it's just time for me to get the purple and stick it on, right? Stick. We want stick it on. Uncle Jamal. He reinforcing all it. He putting steel in the concrete. He getting ready. Watch him, he, he getting the fingers dirty, he getting the fingers dirty, Ole. He reinforcing to make sure he kite don't collapse. Ole, you know the sun hot these days. So when you go in and fly a kite, go out with your water, right? Because, Ole, when you're flying kite, sometimes you have to carry an extra roll of tread. Make sure and fly next to a post, a, like a football goal post, a lamp post, somewhere where you could tie your kite, eh? Because it has come a time where you need to tie down your kite. You just have to get a, get a corner and just leave it. Your kite, when you send it up, you don't have to worry about your kite coming down, you know. Your kite up in the air permanently. So this is what Auntie's gem kite is looking like. Uh, let me show you all Uncle Jamal kite now. And this is Uncle Jamal kite here, y'all. So he's just waiting for the flower paste to dry in before he puts in his compost. So we will be boring two holes, one here and here. 
and the next one will be over the x so one here and one there because we want the thread to go over and come back around so let me show you all how to do it so we just send the true and true we'll be flipping it over to tie our first knot there we go normally we bring it back across here and measure in a l before we tie it in but um, i have to set it in place first so i'm going to show you the full process just got my thread fully true so what we're going to do is we're going to bring it in tighter because we want it like this right our l shape for our compass and we are going to knot here what people normally do is leave this excess to tie onto their tail and what i normally do is i will pinch piece of this and tie it like this so my compass is permanently looped in no take notes y'all are seeing that that's my loop to put in my thread so anytime i want to fly my kite the other day i don't have to burst and tie i just send it in and uncle jacob is ready for the road <laughs> uncle jamal is cutting out his tail right now so while his kite is drying he's making the tail i just attach the tail we'll be taking the kite outside for the test ride right now you guys come let's go test it out let's go test it out so we had to come back inside because rain is actually falling outside you guys <laughs> somebody grab the fan let's turn up this kite <laughs> just joking just joking but y'all this kite is ready for the road this kite is lit this kite is a masterpiece no nobody nobody is ready for uncle jacob out there uncle jacob makes the wickedest kite around guys believe it or not long time when rain was falling that never used to stop you from flying kite or at least me in santa cruz what we actually used to do is get some masking tape the white one and we'd have actually placed that over our kite so the rain when wet we kite uncle jamal you know anything about that taping up your kite so when rain fall your kite still in the air no. yes long time i was the true ch kite champion only i was the champion of the sky and then and see yeah, see that we'll be talking about baloney public library presents to you kite making hope you all enjoy today's video don't forget to like our facebook page share our facebook videos to your friends and family and happy easter from the maloney public family to you right happy easter from the maloney public library family to you all right guys so it's another day i just want to show you all that uncle jacob kites are awesome and they do fly watch what's going on there right you don't even have to try to set up Uncle Jacob Kite. Uncle Jacob Kite does fly. Oh, you see that? Uncle Jacob Kite does fly. Let me bring it a little lower for mm -hmm. you to see. Nice. Come back down. Come back down, baby. Come back down. Come back down. Nice. Well, let's see, Uncle Jacob does make the best kite in all the libraries. All the libraries. Uncle Jacob is the kite man. So I hope you guys can follow this video and make your own kite at home. And thank you for watching. So, bye.